John, I have to say this has been a remarkable operation. Uh, dealing with the tunnel, with lowering the track, with new track and ballast uh, in about six weeks. What exactly did you have to do in box tunnel? Well, we've had primarily to lower the track, but to do that we've had to renew the track. Partly because we want to get the absolutely best track quality that we can. Not only so that we provide a smooth ride for our customers, but so that we minimise the impact between the pantograph on the train, which is the piece of equipment which picks up the electric current from the overhead line uh, within this tunnel. So it's been uh, quite a complex operation. They have been uh, working not round the clock because we've got bats in the tunnel, but we've worked two shifts and left the night shift uh, so that the bats can leave the tunnel and return again in, in the morning. Uh, and we've, we've worked very hard to replace all the track within the tunnel and uh, also through Box Middle Hill Tunnel and down towards Bath at Box Ashley. You've been associated with this tunnel for a long time, John. Is, is the ghost of Brunel still there? Can you still feel his presence? Yes, I, I would say uh, there's no ghost in the tunnel, but you certainly do feel that you're in his presence when you're working around the structures that he provided on the uh, on the Great Western Railway and certainly this is what amongst one of the most uh, or if not the most impressive structure on the railway. How much of what he did is still there? Uh, well most of what he did is still there. It was very well constructed 175 years ago. Uh, some of the tunnel is unlined and we've had no problems with uh, that section. Other parts are lined and the brickwork is still in very good condition and as you can see behind me the portal at the west end which is very impressive uh, uh, it's constructed in Bath stone, that's in very good condition as well. One thing you told me while we were in the tunnel, which I did not know, was there is, or was, actually a tunnel underneath the tunnel. Yes, there was a subway beneath the, tr beneath the tunnel. This was provided uh, to mine the stone on the south side of the tunnel. Stone had been mined, that's Bath stone, uh, on the north side of the tunnel for many years, and the agreement that the Great Western Railway came to with the mine owners was that they would provide a subway beneath the tunnel so that the Bath Stone to the south of the tunnel could be mined as well. So the tunnel was constructed but it was never ever used because they never ever did exploit the Bath Stone to the south of the tunnel. And, and is no more because you filled it in now? Yes, one of the things that we had to do was to provide a very stable track bed as, our, as I've said and it was felt the best thing to do actually was to fill the subway in. So this, this was done, these works were done prior to the main work so that it didn't impact on our track lowering and track uh, relaying work. In terms of engineering, surely this whole project is, is the biggest since Brunel actually constructed this line? Yes, it's certainly a, a very big project. I mean, actually building the railway was a, a huge undertaking particularly at the time it was done between 1836 and 1841. Uh, and um, there was a further upgrade of the track in the 1970s, which I was also involved with, uh, to provide 125 mile an hour diesel trains. And I'm very pleased uh, that as I near the end of my career, I'm involved with the electrification of the route to provide a, yet a further upgrade, but still utilizing the basics that Brunel provided.